Hi, I'm Joe from AWS, and we're going to go over five things every beginner stick welder needs to know. Problem one, the electrode is stuck to the plate. Why does this happen? One could be the way you're trying to strike the arc. Make sure you refine your method in striking the arc. Remember, it's simply like lighting a match. Make sure you give the electrode enough time to arc up, establish that arc, and begin to see that molten pool before you try to touch it down and bring in that arc length to the correct distance. Two might be the condition of the electrode. Always make sure that you have a look at it. Is it missing flux? If there's a bare wire on there, it's very difficult to get that electrode to fire up without the flux coating. Sometimes you may just have to start with a brand new electrode. Three, check the settings on the machine. We may need to turn it up a little bit to get a little more amperage to start that arc. There may even be a hot start feature. You can adjust that to make it a little bit easier to establish that arc when you first strike it. Two, travel speed too fast. Very narrow bead, tall profile, sometimes very inconsistent along the toes of the weld and undercutting will be present. To remedy this, slow down. Let that weld pool build up, increase in diameter, keep that arc length nice and tight and let that pool just kind of work its way across so that it's nice and uniform. Too slow. Here, we might see excess spatter along the edges. The bead will be very wide, maybe a very tall profile. We'll also see maybe inconsistencies along the toes of the weld. And the overall appearance of it, it'll just look very big and bulky. At the end, you might see a very deep crater present. And this is also a very good indication that your travel speed's too slow. A lot of times too, you'll see a lot of heat. There'll be a big glow maybe after you're done welding. What you need to do to remedy it, speed up a little bit, narrow that bead, let that weld pool shrink in diameter, control it, watch the edges of the pool so that you're making it uniform going across. Just right. Here we have uniform toes, a nice transition or convex profile. We don't have any undercut and the overall appearance of the bead looks very uniform. Three, arc length. Too long. The distance from the end of that electrode to the surface that material is too long. And what you'll observe is a flat weld profile, a lot of spatter, a very, very wide bead in most cases. And the profile along the toes of the weld will be very ununiform. Uh, may even see some undercutting in some cases. To remedy that, simply bring that arc length down closer Depending on the diameter of your electrode, usually you go about the diameter of it, bring it down, hold it consistent, and remember, you have to keep feeding that electrode in as it's being consumed. So tighten up the arc length. Too tight or too short of an arc length. One, you may not even be able to get the electrode started, and if you do, you'll notice the bead won't be very wide, and it will have a very tall profile, but in most cases, you may have trouble consistently keeping the arc going. So it may stub out or short out while you're welding. Here, you can see the electrode is buried right into the weld pool and now a piece of the base material. Remedy this, pull that electrode out a little bit. You shouldn't feel any resistance or very, very little of that electrode touching the surface of that material. If you're feeling that electrode really buried down into it, you may have too tight of an arc length. So pull it out a little bit let that weld profile build up as best you can and watch it be uniform and widen out. Just right. Here, we got uniform toes. The arc length was enough to just to see a little bit of spatter. The weld profile looks good and the overall consistency is spot on. Nice and convex, just what we wanna see. Four, amperage, not enough or too little. What we'll see is we will have a narrow bead. It'll be difficult to maintain the arc. A lot of times it may stick and you may have trouble really just letting the bead wet out into the material. Thus, we get a 
Very, very convex profile, which gives us that tall bead. Too much amperage or too high. Here, we have a very flat bead. You notice the ripples are very tapered as well. And we also see at the end of the weld where the crater is, it's very deep and dug in. While you're welding, you'll notice that the aggressive arc because of the amperage is really digging into the material. And you may have excessive spatter or smoke as it's burning too hot. Sometimes you may even see the electrode glowing if you have the amperage up high enough. Just right. Here we have nice uniform weld. The profile is great. The control of the arc, you can see the ripples are consistent all the way through and the crater isn't dug in or too wide. Five, travel angle and work angle. A poor travel angle results in a bead that has a profile that's very tall and very steep. Here, our travel angle was good. As we progressed, it got very steep. The bead became very tall and very narrow and not very uniform. Work angle. Our work angle should be about 90 degrees. As we progressed, our work angle became very extreme. The result of this was undercut on one side of the weld and a high profile on the other. Remember this, maintain the correct work and travel angle for the joint that you are welding.